So now let's go ahead and build the data load into Redshift. So to do that, I go to Apps and I choose Data Synchronization. I go ahead and click New. I'm then prompted with a six-step wizard on how to perform this data load. So first of all, I'll go ahead and give this a name. Redshift load. And I'm going to perform an insert. Down the road, you can also perform updates, upserts, and deletes if you'd like to. But for this demo, I'm just going to choose insert. And I choose my RDS connection that I just created. And I'm going to pull data from my account table and I'm going to simply load that into Redshift. All right, I move now to step three where I choose my target. And again, I'm going to be loading data into Redshift. So that's my target. And I choose my Redshift connection that I just created. And I can either select tables if you've already created tables in your, in your Redshift cluster. Otherwise, I can create a target based off of that source object that I'm pulling data out of. So let's go ahead and do that. This is my RDS account. And now that object has been created in my Redshift cluster. Step four, this is an optional step. If you wanted to add data filters so you're only doing a limited amount of data rows that are going to get pulled over, you can specify that here. And now in step five for field mapping, we're moving over all fields and hence they're already moved over. If you needed to use any sort of transformations to modify the data before it gets loaded into Amazon Redshift, you also have those capabilities within Informatica Cloud. And the last step, if I go to step six, I can run this on a recurring schedule if you wanted to do that. And Informatica Cloud has full-blown scheduling capabilities. Or, in this case, I'm simply just going to manage this manually, so I will not attach a schedule to that. Lastly, I specify some advanced options. Uh, we are going to be using S3 to load natively into Redshift, so I'm going to specify my S3 bucket. And you do need to specify a stage directory, and this you just put C colon slash as that value. Okay, so now I can go and save and run. We're now automatically brought to our monitor screen. So here we can keep track and watch the data load and see the statistics as it's actually happening. And once the data load is complete, It'll switch over to our activity log and we see that it has completed and we've loaded 432 rows. Thank you for watching this video on Informatica Cloud. If you have any further questions, please contact us at informaticacloud.com. Thank you.